Welcome everyone to Keep It Classy Tech. This video is going to be a discussion and guide on Dolby Vision on Sony OLED specific TVs for 2021 and more specifically about the Dolby Vision Dark plus Expert 1 or 2 color temperature algorithm. So if you don't know what that is, uh, it's been known that Dolby Vision on these Sony OLED TVs will translate the default Judd offset white point to D65. It's a couple months ago I discovered that it's only specifically Dolby Vision Dark when paired with Expert 1 or Expert 2 color temperature that it does that. So this video is going to go through and show that but also extend on it to show how you can use your own alternate white point when it's doing that algorithm. Now the reason that's important is Dolby Vision Dark with tone mapping disabled is the most accurate way of viewing Dolby Vision on these TVs where it follows the EOTF curve. Dolby Vision Bright does not do that. So if you want to see your Dolby Vision content accurately as it was created, you need to use Dolby Vision Dark with HDR tone mapping turned off. Now whenever you would do that, if you were using an alternate white point for the television for SDR and HDR, that would mess with that algorithm and you wouldn't get D65. And even if you weren't doing that, if you were using the out-of-the-box white point, then that means your SDR and HDR is using Judd while your Dolby Vision was using D65, and it looks entirely different. And this does apply to the A90J as well as the A80J. So here's my post, and it explains that the calculation done by the TV for Dolby Vision is either a set percentage or just a set offset. So if you create an offset to Judd, then you can get a result that is different than D65. Now that matters because this TV does suffer from metamerism, so D65 on it does not look like D65 on a television that doesn't. So using the alternate white point of .310 by .328 or 311 by 329, there's meter variance, so anywhere in that ballpark is pretty much what's been accepted now as a good alternative white point that looks like D65 when matched to an LCD or the BVM HX310 reference monitor. So what I'm showing right now is that Expert 1 and Expert 2 are both calibrated differently. So Expert 1 was calibrated to the white point specifically .3105 by .3285. Expert 2 was calibrated to the Judd offset plus the difference of the alternate white point from D65 that was explained on that post. With the actual coordinates being .3045 by .3175. So what that means is Dolby Vision Dark will now have the same color temperature and white point as Dolby Vision Bright, which does not do that algorithm to change. It also will match SDR and HDR which are also set to that white point. So all content now on this television should look like how D65 is supposed to look like. So what I'm going to do is just go through some measurements to, to show that um, and then I'm going to show some actual Dolby Vision content so that you can see the real difference between Dolby Vision Bright and Dolby Vision Dark when they are both at the same color temperature and white point so that the only variance is the difference between dark and bright and that's very misleading the way that they are named because dark is not always darker than bright so Dolby Vision Bright with tone mapping turned off is way too lifted so if you use gradation preferred on Dolby Bright it does pull it down a little closer to Dolby Dark alright so here you can see Dolby Dark with Expert 2 Calibrated that offset did result in the white point that I'm trying to get to, which is .3105 by .3285. And now measuring again with Dolby Bright using the Expert 1, which was calibrated specifically to that white point, not using any Dolby Vision algorithm. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So there's a little tiny bit of variance, but essentially it's the same. Now I'm going to switch both bright and dark to the warm color temperature, which is not calibrated, and you'll see that no 
kind of algorithm or change is done to the warm color temperature, it only takes effect on expert one or expert two. Because that means you can use expert one for your SDR, HDR, and Dolby Bright if you were to use it. And then expert two specifically for Dolby Vision Dark. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. You only have to do two color temperatures. And you can also see just how cool warm actually is. Now I'm going to switch Dolby Dark to the Expert 1 color temperature, which again was calibrated without taking into account the algorithm, just to show what it would do if you were to use the same color temperature for both Dolby Dark and Dolby Bright, or Dolby Dark with HDR and SDR. And you can see it's not cool enough. It makes it too warm. Alright, so now here this image is really good for viewing white balance and color temperature. You can see that while there's a change in the brightness and highlight and shadow detail across the scene, the color temperature and white point is actually staying the same. Now in this scene, here you're going to see where Dolby Dark is actually far brighter than Dolby Bright. Now previously I was speculating that maybe this happens in certain content that was actually created in Dolby Vision versus created in HDR and converted to Dolby Vision, but this entire content was created in Dolby Vision, so that's not the case. So it really does just seem that the Dolby Vision bright mode is just analyzing scenes and doing whatever it wants to do, whereas Dolby Vision dark is just purely giving you the content the way that it was created. So if some content is going to be brighter in Dolby Vision Bright, and some content will be brighter in Dolby Vision Dark, but one of the two is accurate, then you should just use Dolby Dark all the time. Sure, some scenes are going to be brighter in Dolby Bright, but again, if some scenes are brighter in Dolby Dark, and you know that that's the accurate mode, I just don't see the point in using Dolby Bright, unless you're watching something that just appears too dark to you and you don't mind changing the setting from content to content and you're in a brighter room then you know you want to switch it fine here you can see there's almost no change it's very very minor um, and throughout these scenes you're just gonna see it go back and forth there's no really rhyme or reason in my opinion uh, as to why one's brighter or darker than the other um, but personally I'm just going to put it to Dolby Dark set it that way and forget it because then I know I'm seeing it the way that it was created and I know some scenes will be brighter than bright and some will be darker than bright and then here you can see if you disable tone mapping on bright it'll get brighter and if you turn on brightness preferred it really gets brighter but in other scenes even with brightness preferred it's not as bright as Dolby Dark so again if you just want to follow the PQ curve and you want to know you're seeing it in the way that it was created, just use Dolby Dark with HDR tone mapping turned off. And then, again, if you want to see it with the way that D65 is supposed to look when you're using one of these OLEDs, then you can use that offset, and you can have that too. And then all your content will have the same white point, same color temperature, and there's no more mismatch. Now the downside is that means if you want that, you have to pay or do a calibration. And that means full 20 point, you're not going to be able to copy settings and get that. It's something that you are going to have to have done to your specific TV. Again, whether you do it yourself, and that means getting a spectro and a colorimeter and Calman or whatever software, or paying a professional to do it. There's no other way around it. Now, if you are fine using Dolby Vision Bright, then that's different. Then you can use shared settings for a two-point white balance adjustment which gets you really close and then you can use Dolby Bright because it doesn't change anything and then it will look the same color temperature and white point as your SDR and HDR content so choice is yours if you want accuracy though you're gonna have to get a real calibration done so I hope this helps you out and I hope it makes it a little bit more understandable of how to calibrate Dolby Vision on these sets um, you do not have to have Dolby Vision patterns or software for Dolby Vision. You just calibrate your expert modes in SDR, targeting the white points. And if you're doing this for dark, then you use that offset based off of Judd, and then you'll get where you want to be. But again, you can do that in SDR with like a Raspberry Pi pattern generator 
or you know whatever you have and it's not that hard you can even just use calman home for sony and change the target and let it run an auto cal for the 20 point and you'll get pretty much the same thing so really pretty simple just target whatever white point you want for sdr and hdr with expert one and then for expert two just make that calculation and use that offset based off of Judd, and then Dolby Vision Dark will match everything else. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate if you could hit the like button, and that'll allow more people to find the video. And I will have more AADJ, especially settings videos and updates very soon. Apologies for the camera quality. Uh, this camera is not really working out, so I am going to be without a camera as I wait for the new Sony a7 IV to come out. But that's a different subject, so thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next one.